in this video i explain various terms related to cooling tower so various terms are fill drip wet bulb temperatures approach range and the cooling efficiency so first i explain the fill so fill is also called as the packing so we know that hot water from the condenser is sprayed through a nozzle over a series of horizontal bar called fill or a packing so here i show you the image of force draft cooling towers so here you see water from the condenser is enter here and it is spray by using this water nozzles so this spray water is come in a contact with the packing okay so when this water it strike with the packing they splash the water the water jet is further divided in a small small droplets so what is the functions of packing the functions of the packing or a fill is thoroughly mix falling water with air moving around the fill means function of packing is mix the hot water coming from the condenser through the nozzles they are mixed with the air properly the water splash as it moves down from the one fill to another by gravity so intimate mixing of water and air increase the heat and mass transfer which cools the water okay so when the water is splashed number of times then what happen they are properly come in the contact with the air so heat energy from the water droplet is transferred to the air so proper cooling of the water is carried out second term is dripped when air flow from bottom to the top of the cooling tower at that time this air is come in the contact with the hot water okay so air is absorb the heat energy from the hot waters and during this process the air is also carry a fine water droplets along with the air so this is called drip so these fine droplets of water are called drip this water is lost as it is carry with the air okay so this air is supplied to the atmosphere so it is consider as the water is lost drip eliminator are provided in a cooling tower to minimize the drip loss means to minimize this drip loss we provide the one component at the top of the cooling tower it is called as the drip eliminator before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provide in descriptions as well as in a card for more subject i request to visit the playlist of my channels third term is the wet bulb temperature of ambient air as the air enters the cooling tower initially it is unsaturated so when the air is enter in the cooling tower it is unsaturated air unsaturated means that it have no water vapor particles as it comes in a contact with the water spray water continues to evaporate until the air become saturated so in a cooling tower we cool the waters by using the air so air is come in the contact with the water okay and the water is cooled by air so air is absorb the heat energy from the waters and during that times the water is continues to evaporate so this evaporated water are mixed with the air and this enter air it is unsaturated it is converted into the saturated air so saturated air means it contains the air plus water vapor particles the minimum temperature to which water can be cool is known as wet bulb temperature of the ambient air means when the air have 100% water vapor particles then after we are not able to reduce the temperatures of the water that's why it is called the it is the minimum temperature to which water can be cool at this temperature air is 100% saturated and it cannot absorb any more water vapor so when the air is stop to absorb the water vapor means when it is stop to absorb the water vapor when it is 100% saturated then after the temperature of the water is not reduced it is called as the wet bulb temperatures of ambient air fourth point is the approach and it is denoted 
by a it is defined as the difference between the exit temperatures of the cooling water so exit temperature of the cooling water is denoted as tc2 and the wet bulb temperature of the ambient air so wet bulb temperature of the ambient air is denoted as twb so equation is approach a is equal to tc2 minus tw2 so what is tc2 tc2 is the exit temperature of the cooling water means what the water is collected at the bottom of the cooling tower it is called as the tc2 so temperature of this cooling water collected at the bottom of the cooling tower it is tc2 and the wet bulb temperature of the ambient air it is tw2 so this difference is called as the approach so what is the value of this approach the value of this approach is from 6 to 8 degree centigrade okay means suppose the wet bulb temperature of the atmosphere air is the 30 degree so we are able to achieve cooling water temperature is 36 to 38 suppose the wet bulb temperature of atmosphere is 35 then what the maximum temperature we achieve for the cooling water sorry minimum temperature we achieve it is 41 to 43 third point is the cooling range and it is denoted by capital r it is the difference in temperature of incoming warm water and the exit temperature of a cool water so r is tc1 minus tc2 means it is the temperature difference of the waters in a approach there is a some other difference are there so what is the difference that is the exit temperatures of the cooling water so it is a one is the temperature of the cooling water and the wet bulb is the temperature of the air now in a range what are the temperature of the water means r is equal to tc1 minus tc2 means in a cooling tower we reduce the temperature of water by using the air means first we spray the water it have the temperature tc1 okay so it is the incoming warm waters and this warm water is cool by using the air so we achieve this warm water temperature it is the tc2 so it is tc1 minus tc2 is called as the cooling range r it is the range by which warm water from the condenser is cool the cooling range varies from 6 to 10 degree centigrade means suppose the inlet temperature of the warm water is 50 degree centigrade then what is the outlet temperature of this cold water so it is a 50 and r is considered from 6 to 10 so what the temperature we achieve it is of 40 to 44 degree centigrade depending upon the atmosphere conditions now the next point is the cooling efficiency so cooling efficiency of the cooling tower it is denoted by using these symbols so it is the ratio of the actual cooling of water to the maximum cooling that is possible so equation is what is the actual cooling actual cooling is the inlet temperature of the warm waters minus outlet temperature so this is the actual cooling and what is the maximum cooling maximum cooling is the approach okay it is the tc1 minus temperature of wet bulb so it is tc1 minus tw b so it is called as the cooling efficiency of cooling towers so approach cooling range and the cooling efficiency are the performance parameter of cooling tower okay so here we are discussing number of parameters okay so i explain the six parameters out of six approach cooling range and the cooling efficiency are the performance parameters of the cooling tower means by using these terms we can identify the performance of the cooling towers okay so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends